Scheduling a new patient in Dentrix Enterprise using the right-click mouse button on the schedule. First, you and the patient will agree on a time. Next, right-click on the time you agreed upon. Now, select New Appointment. Search for the patient in the system. Search by last name, birth date, or social. You want to search by this clinic or search by all clinics. If you locate the patient in another office, we want to use them because we do not want to create duplicates in the system. If you are unable to find the patient in the system, go ahead and select New Patient. Now enter the patient's information. Fill in the first and last name. Add in the phone number. Add in the street address. Type in the city, state, and zip. Now we want to select how they heard about our office. This data is important for marketing purposes and reporting. All the information filled out in the screen will pre-populate when the account is created. Now we need to select the provider that's seeing the patient. We need to add the reason for the patient's visit. For all new patients, we will use the initial button for the reason. For existing patients, you will use the TX button for the reason. You are able to add treatment to the treatment plan if needed. Now, change the length of time of the appointment. It will pre-populate based on the procedures entered. You will need to drop down the time and remove the X's. This will allow you the ability to double and triple book your provider. Now we need to update the status. If the patient has made the appointment within 48 hours, mark them as firm. If not, leave them as none. We want to leave the column, date, and time as is. This is pre-populated based on our right-click selection on the appointment book. The fee is going to automatically default to UCR until a fee schedule is attached. For this, we are going to leave it alone. For schedule, leave it as fixed. Should the patient choose to come in on an earlier time or want to come in as soon as possible, you can mark it as ASAP and this will pre-populate the patient to a quick fill list. Now, update the appointment type to reflect the payer type of the appointment. For this patient, we are going to choose managed care as this patient has told us that they have a managed care plan. Lastly, type in the appointment information in this box. We are going to answer these questions and we are going to mark them in a row and separate them by commas. Keep in mind, in a paperless environment, over communication is the key to running a successful practice. When answering the questions, if the patient doesn't provide an answer or says no, you can write not applicable. If the patient needs to bring a list of medications to their visit, go ahead and mark yes, if not, not applicable. On this question, if the patient is a child, will the guardian be here? For this example, we're going to say not applicable. And did we refer the patient to the website in order to pull all the initial paperwork to help save on the wait time? We're going to mark refer to website. Once you're done, check off the questions. And then we're going to mark OK. Now your patient is scheduled.